Um, who here is perfect? Me. I knew he was going to raise this Okay. Who here does their absolute best, no matter what, they cannot do any better, everything they do, they do the best in, they're just perfect? Oh, right here. <laughs> Well, so no one raised their hand, so apparently no one was perfect. I did. But no one also raised their hand for they did their best. No. Right? So none of us do our absolute best. We could all, that means improve, right? That's what that means. Okay. Today I want to talk to you about why you should be more loving. Love is the answer. Love is good. I love love. We all just said there's improvement for our lives because none of us raised our hand when I asked if we all did our best, so we could all do better. I think the thing that we should focus on first is love, because I, I mean, you can get your grades up, you can get an A, and then you can go kill 20 people. <laughs> that, you know, if you got an A though, I think you should focus on love first. I think love is better. Okay, oh, this is. So, and the reason why you should focus on love is because, well, the world is, is terrible and unloving and unkind and, and, and horrible. And so, the world's a terrible place. The cause, there's lots of reasons. One of them is a lack of love. People take loving their neighbor as they love themselves for granted. And so, that's, it, there's lots of reasons, but one of the reasons is a lack of love. And the solution, God will fix everything, but in the meantime, we can do better. We can be more loving. And loving doesn't just mean keeping the Ten Commandments. You can keep these Ten Commandments. No other gods, no graven images, don't take God's name in vain, remember the Sabbath, honor thy father and mother, don't kill, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't lie, don't covet. You can keep those things, and you still won't go to heaven, and they won't make you loving. Will they? Do these say, love your neighbor as you love yourself? Do that? They don't, do they? You could keep all of those and still be a terrible person. You could. Keeping the commandments will not make you a good person. You don't get quit. You don't get rewards <laughs> for obeying the law and keeping the law. You just don't get punished. You don't get rewards for obeying the speed limit. You don't get a check. If you well, if you go over the speed limit, you get a ticket. You don't get rewards for keeping the law. You're supposed to keep the law. Keep it, you won't, you're not a good person for keeping the commandments. You're supposed to keep them. It won't make you a loving person. So the reason why I think we need to talk about love, and the reason why I want to talk about love today, because I think love is awesome. I think it's good. I think loving is more logical. Being more loving is more logical. We already think it's something we should do. We already know it's something we should already work on. All religions at least imply it. They imply it. Some of them don't really teach it, sort of, but it's, it's implied. It's, it's always implied. And love would answer mm, pretty much everything, almost. And so first we're going to talk about religion. Why religion says love is good. Some religion. And I just love talking to you about religion. Uh, but not all religions are the same. <laughs> uh, the Quran, Islam. I actually was, I don't have my own Quran, so I, I, I couldn't actually go to it and, like, and, and cite it, but like, there's not really a whole lot of love in the Quran. I actually, I, I try to compare with the Bible because like, well, just so many people believe in the Quran, so surely it must be a convincing book. But then when you actually research it, it's not. It, it's not even a contest. Um, this is two verses in the Quran. Uh, this says, Oh, you who believe, enter absolutely into peace with Islam. Do not follow the footsteps of Satan. He is outright the enemy to you. Which is somewhat loving. I mean, Satan's bad. You don't want to follow Satan. So that's kind of a loving thing, right? I mean, it's the best the Quran's got. <laughs> Another verse is, God does not forbid you from being good to people that are mean to you. That's basically what it says. So you can be nice to people that are mean to you. However, it says being, being good to those, and then it says being just. Now, what is just to a Muslim? Well, that's a different topic. In 
Hinduism. That's another religion. Uh, they go by the Gita, that's their book. Now, I don't actually know what the Gita looks like. I typed it into Google to find out what it looked like, and this is popped up. It's not as simple as the Bible. You can just type in the Bible, and the actual Bible will pop up, so that's cool. But what does Hindus teach about love? Well, these are actually some good verses. Like, I actually like these. But of all I could name, verily, love is the highest in love and devotion. Make one forgetful of everything else. Love that unites the lover with me. Now, I couldn't actually find these in the actual Gita, but when I typed them up, they popped up. But I couldn't actually find the actual verse. So I don't know the actual context of them. But it sounds nice on the surface. And then the other one is, this one, I mean, surely this is awesome, right? Do everything you have to do, um, with not greed or ego or lust, not the enemy, but with love, compassion, humility, and devotion. Wow, that's nice, that's wonderful, that, that's incredible. Wow, that's incredible. And then we have the Bible. I like the Bible. I think it's a good book. Uh, what does the Bible have to say about love? I mean, maybe, does the Bible have anything to say about love? Um, this is Jesus talking, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That is extreme. <coughs> Could you love someone that hates you? Could you pray for someone that spits in your face? Could you forgive them? That's kind of what he's saying. And then he says, for if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? Basically, if you only treat people that treat you nicely, nicely, if you're only kind to those that are kind to you, then what good, what difference are you? What better are you than anyone else? If you want to really stand out, you want to be nice to people that are mean to you. That's real love. Well, that's better love. Because there's, <coughs> there's a bunch of types of love. If I have time, I'll get into that. John 3.17. This is the verse after John 3, 16. Uh, that God sent his son not into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. And then 2 Peter, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And the Quran didn't really have any, so I just threw a couple of them. And the Bible says, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. And the first Corinthians really meditate on this one. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding of all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. This is something you think would be out like the Gita or something. No, this is the Bible. Uh, and charity is goodwill, compassion, best stuff. So, I, I know, I like the Bible best. And now it's all about quickly why it's logical to be more loving. If you are mean to people, they're not going to like you, and they're going to try and chase you out of town. That's the angry mob. It's more logical to be loved. Also religion. Most religions teach you need love, so the odds of going to heaven would increase if you were more loving. That's if the Bible's not true, because the Bible says you need Jesus. But if any other religion is true, more loving is more likely to get you to heaven. Oh yes, which is what I just said. Uh, so you should be more loving, small scale. There's no small scale. It's not hard to be loving and kind. Large scale, treat, actually treating others the way you like to be treated. Or even the Bible will actually help too, because the Bible's full of wisdom and love. I don't have time for that. Here's my work cited. That's it. Thank you.